The Sabotage Show is not intended for all audiences. Discretion is advised. Alright guys, you're listening to The Sabotage Show and I am your saboteur, the moderately annoyed Canadian here. And you know, uh, it has been a while since I've done an update video, it has been a while since I've done a podcast, I should say. Uh, some jerk from Boston is pretty pissed off at me right now for not doing one. But I thought I'd do this quick update just to give you guys an idea of what I've been up to lately and why I haven't been putting out as many. Um, well, really what it comes down to is I've been really busy with my real job. Um, and it's been cutting into a lot of the days that I would normally do these podcasts. But, um, you know what, that's no excuse. I mean, you can always really find time if you want to do something. I guess I have to say that I'm kind of at a point where, you know, I don't even know where I can actually go from here. I've been interviewing a lot of people uh, from, as you know, from Manic Expression itself, but I haven't really ventured off from the site itself. And in order to actually gain um, a reputation on YouTube or on the internet, you really kind of have to explore uh, different options and, and different people you want to be able to interview. Now, from what I can understand, is that uh, there are uh, different ave avenues I can take, basically, with these podcasts. And what I've decided to do is go out onto YouTube and, and just kind of, uh, you know, um, uh, basically send messages to people that I would like to take the opportunity to interview and see if they respond to me. Now, the thing is, is credibility has to be has to be earned to a certain degree when it comes to interviewing. And it's not to say that I haven't uh, gone and, and ventured out there and, and tried talking to different people, but what happened was, was when I decided to uh, interview everybody from Manic Expression, what ended up happening is that a lot of people in the YouTube world, they don't know who we are on the site. And basically, what, what ended up happening there was... Uh, they're, they're not, well, I'm getting quite a few views uh, from the site itself, but what happens is with YouTube, these people, they don't really know who we are, right? So they're not going to really go out of their way to listen to an interview with somebody that they've never heard of before. You know, even though I personally think it's fucking awesome because I get to listen to your guys' stories on how you join the site and where you come from and, and just basically things like that. But these, these people on YouTube, which is basically what we're trying to do on Manic Expression right now is to create a... Uh, a YouTube partnership uh, to bring money to the site and basically prevent us from ever having to do actual work one day in the future, hopefully, you know, actually have to go out there and have these fucking bullshit jobs that we do every day. But anyway, so what I have to do is I have to venture out and I have to try to, I have to try to find these people, um, you know, bigger names on YouTube. And I have to get out there and I have to try to find ways to uh, get their attention and get an interview. Um, but this is the problem I've run into. Nobody knows who I am, and I don't blame them for not responding to these messages. If you, you know, if I'm sending these people messages, and I haven't been spamming, I think I've maybe sent out five, five or six. But these are to people that I know that, uh, you know, I, I I watch, and I know a lot of you watch as well. But uh, these people often have, you know, in the hundreds of thousands of subscri uh, subscribers, and I'm sure on a daily basis, these people are pretty much getting emails sent to them or messages sent to them saying, hey, you know, I'd really like to talk to you or, hey, you know, I'm a stalking bastard and I'd like to follow you and creep around your house. But uh, so I, I'm sure that they've learned to kind of avoid certain messages that look like that. Um, so I'm kind of at a standstill here where I know that uh, I need to get these people. I need to interview these people. Uh, I need to build up some sort of level of credibility if I want to do this, you know, one day in the future as a as an actual source of income, um, as a career one day, because this would be amazing. I mean, I think um, I'm developing a skill here, and I think that, you know, over time it has actually gotten better. God, I hope so, because if I haven't gotten any better, I'd fucking kill myself. But anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, do you guys have any suggestions? I would really appreciate that in the comment section, because right now I, I have no idea what to do. Uh, if you guys know of anybody that I can talk to, uh, interview, uh, anybody that really wants to get their name out there, um, I'm always up for interviewing guys from Manic Expression, of course, right? Like uh, talking to Ryan McCarthy. 
I know he wants to uh, to be interviewed, and I'd like to take that chance, have that opportunity to talk to him. And same with the Gurning Chimp. That's another guy I want to talk to. Uh, there's also a few other people on Manic Expression that I've been wanting to talk to and interview, but I'm, I'm finding that there's a few of them that actually don't respond to... Uh, to messages at all, so I'm kind of at a point where it's like, oh, well, maybe that's a sign that maybe I should just try to venture off from Manic, uh, branch off a little bit, and see if I can get uh, r uh, recognized by anybody else out there, and maybe get an opportunity. Um, I'm not talking about interviewing fucking Tom Cruise, you know what I mean? Like, is, if your head is so big that you don't even want to be on a, an internet channel interview, I mean, yeah, you're pretty much shit in my book, then the fuck you assholes, but... Uh, there are certain people out there, I know that, um, and whether or not you have a big name or you're developing that and you want to have your, your voice heard, come on my show. So if you guys have any ideas on how I can get these fucking people to fucking respond to a message, um, I mean, I can post pictures of myself naked and I'm sure somebody will respond to that eventually, I guess. But anyway, um, yeah guys, I know it's a, a bit of a short update uh, podcast, but I will be doing this more again. I have vacation coming up here pretty soon from work. I've been very busy, but uh, you guys have my guarantee. But li like, like I said, just fucking leave me a message, leave me a comment, send me an ins I don't care, just find a way to get it to me and uh, suggest things I can do to uh, get out there, branch out there, and get uh, these interviews with these other people. Alright guys, thanks for listening, and uh, so happy!